Hey, Kevin, what are you doing? Well, uh, still playing around with warping. Yeah, I know I am a little, but <laughs> I mean with metal. You warp a piece of metal when you weld it. How do you fix it? How do you take care of it? Well, I just ran a bead across here, got a real nice little warp going because it wasn't clamped down. And I thought, okay, let's flip it over and we'll run a bead on the other side and see how much of this warp we can actually pull out by warping it. It's almost pulled that warp out that was in this side of the plate. You can see this is flat down against the metal again. This end is up just the tiniest little bit. I could come to this end, run a little bead sideways here. That's what I did on the, uh, on the last bead was I went sideways across my joint rather than with my joint. So come to this end, run it sideways across there, see if I can't pull a little bit more of that out. So that's one technique you could possibly use. You know, you, you warped it with heat. Let's try opposite heat. Let's try heat on the other side. See if you can get it to warp back the other way. I actually did a whole sculpture called Genome Project where I used nothing but welding and warping to do all the shaping that I wanted to do. And of course, if the heat doesn't work, you know, if clamping it down to the bench doesn't work, you know, if you, if you try all the other approaches and you just can't quite get it flat again, go to the anvil. <laughs> now, I've been told that this is a flattening hammer just because of that nice flat surface that's on there. I've also been told it's a shoeing hammer it's for, for working with horseshoes. Well, I got it from a horseshoeing school, so maybe that's what it is. Whatever it's called, I call it a flattening hammer because that's the way I use it. And the best way I've found is you got your warp upwards, so you've got a little gap underneath your metal. see that worked pretty well. Just get that little bit of a warp out of it. The trick is to listen to the sound. When I first started, play it back just a little, you can hear it. When I first started, it was kind of a hollow sound, a hollow kind of a ring to it, until I finally got that warp out and got the whole piece of metal to be flat on the anvil. Then you hear that ring that you get off of an anvil. That's when you know you're finally flat, is when the anvil starts to sing. And of course, there are also times where you've got it warped so bad, it's going in six different directions all at once, that really about the only thing you can do, get a new piece and start over. So I hope that helps you guys out. Uh, don't forget to hit that subscribe button for me. I'm going to get my butt back to work. I'll see you guys next week. Honest, you gotta put this on if you're gonna hang out in the studio.